Hello everyone, my name is Zira. Today, I would like to share about life cycle assessment of cocoa. In this video, we will cover on introduction of cocoa. Life cycle of cocoa. Impact of cocoa. And lastly solution to reduce the impact in conclusion part. Firstly is introduction of cocoa. Do you know what is cocoa? The cocoa bean is the seed of the cacao tree, the abroma cacao, a tropical plant indigenous to the equatorial regions of the Americas. From the processed cocoa bean comes the fluid paste, or liquor, from which cocoa powder and chocolate are made. Next is, where did cocoa beans originate? The Theobroma cacao tree, originated in the upper Amazon basin region, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. Today, cacao is grown by 40 to 50 million cocoa farmers, in more than 50 countries around the world. 90% of the world's cocoa is grown on small family farms, while only 5% is grown on larger commercial plantations. Next is, what are the different varieties of cacao? First is, Forastero. Second is, Criollo. And third is, Trinitario. Now let's look into the history of cocoa. Cacao residues on pottery in Ecuador suggest that, the plant was consumed by humans, as early as 5,000 years ago. The tree was likely domesticated in the upper Amazon region and then spread northward. Next, we will look into the life cycle of cocoa. Did you know there are five process of cocoa life cycle? Which is, raw material, manufacturing, transportation, consumption and lastly disposal. First step to produce cocoa is raw materials production. Seeding the cocoa tree, watering the cocoa tree, and harvesting the cocoa bean. We'll continue with manufacturing. First is fermentation. During fermentation, the juicy sweatings of the pulp are drained away, the germ in the seed is killed by the increased heat, and flavor development begins. Second is drying the cocoa bean, which is we can use solar dryers. Third process is crushing. Fourth process is roasting. Roasting develops flavor, reduces acidity and astringency lowers moisture content, deepens color, and facilitates shell removal. And last process is grinding, the cell walls of the nibs are in turn broken by grinding, releasing the fat, or cocoa butter, and forming a paste called chocolate liquor, or cocoa mats. Next is transportation. Cocoa is typically shipped by mean of traveling on ship, by truck, and railroad. For the ship of transport, Cocoa beans are shipped in standard containers that are put in large liner bags, making the shipment process more cost-effective. Second is truck of transport. Vehicles must be dry, cool, ventilated and odorless for make sure cocoa in good condition. Next is consumption. Chocolate is consumed all over the world, and the largest chocolate manufacturers are based in North America and Europe. Chocolate formulation is in constant evolution. The changes aim to meet the evolving demands of food consumers. There is an increasing request for a low-calorie chocolate without sugar and a vegan product formulation without animal derivatives. Do you know that cocoa is produced in the south but consumed in the north? The Europeans are the champions in cocoa consumption. This is because, almost half of the global cocoa consumption, 45%, goes on the account of Europe, followed by the Americas. However, as a single country, the United States consume the most cocoa-based products, 797,000 tons, ahead of Germany and France. And the last process is disposal of cocoa. Over 80% of food packaging examined in a new survey can't go into home recycling bins. Next, we will look into the impact of cocoa for raw materials production. First impact is deforestation, which is, farmer need financing to rehabilitate aging cocoa plantations or they will be forced to chop down forest. Second impact is, soil erosion and fertilizer use. Dr. Soetan to Abdullah, chairman of the Indonesian Cocoa Board, said, if farmers aren't using good agricultural practices, gap, 
then the impact will be high because for example in Indonesian cocoa farming. We always use shade but without shade soil erosion is higher and cocoa needs more fertilizer. Next is, impacts of manufacturing. A study published in Science Direct, coordinated by Adisa as Apogic, analyzed chocolate ingredients, production processes, packaging and waste to assess their environmental effects, Simons, 2018. Dot. He discovered that chocolate produced in Great Britain alone produces the equivalent of over 2 million tons of KOTU per year. The study also determined that it takes about 1,000 liters of water to produce a chocolate bar. Third is impacts of transportation. First, impact of shipping on the environment. It can contributes to climate change through emissions of black carbon. And the highest amounts of black carbon particles are produced by ships burning heavy fuel oil. Second is, the impact of truck on the environment. Transportation networks mostly produces air pollution which is a significant element of global warming through emission of carbon dioxide. ANF the road transports as a major source of production of greenhouse gases, which are suspected to be linked to bring respiratory problems and diseases. Next is impacts of consumption. Despite the high consumption of chocolate, a significant quantity is wasted. In the UK, an estimated 18,000 tons of chocolate and sweets are disposed of annually. This avoidable chocolate wastage is responsible for approximately 90,000 tons of greenhouse gases. Lastly is impacts of disposal. For example, Nestle's Four Finger Kit Kats, Cadbury's Bitsa Wispa, Dairy, Milk Bars and Twirl Bites, along with Mars's MNMS were found not to be recyclable in household recycling at all. Now, we will move to the conclusion. There are two ways for reduce the impact of cocoa. First is cocoa farming solutions. Cocoa production has potential to do no environmental harm if properly managed, but best practices are not widespread, leading to soil erosion and ultimately further deforestation for new plantations. Second solution is use sustainable chocolate packaging. Products are paper-based, meaning they are recyclable and sustainable. They also present several technical benefits. The benefit of this packaging are high barrier properties. Paper-based chocolate wrap material is eco-friendly and recyclable. Approved for direct food contact and ideal for any size bar. So that all from me, I hope you can get more knowledge about cocoa in this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, like, and leave your comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.